DevOps, QA, support, some of the most common tech roles might not even exist in 24 months time. Now this is not because companies are cutting back, it's more because AI is replacing entire workflows. If you're in one of these roles, then you need to watch this video. In this video, I'll break down five tech roles that are disappearing due to AI and automation. And I'm gonna help you understand which roles are actually still growing in the AI revolution and what you can do to train. My name's Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training. I've trained over a million students and I've been working in this industry for over 25 years. That's long before AI took over the headlines. And of course, I've seen many shifts like this in the past, but none that have the impact that AI does. AI is certainly shifting the landscape of jobs in tech very, very quickly. Now, there are still plenty of opportunities, and as long as you have the right skills, there's some amazing opportunities, and more and more job roles are becoming available every single day. So let's start by looking at which roles are vanishing the fastest and more importantly, what you can do to make sure you're not left behind. Let's look at DevOps first. So DevOps is all about automation, but AI is now automating DevOps itself. For example, a recent study by Forrester showed that 70% of DevOps tasks will be automated by 2026. This is thanks to tools like GitHub Copilot and AWS Code Catalyst. What's happening now is that AI is actually writing the pipeline code. It's auto-remediating deployment issues and suggesting rollback strategies. It can perform log analysis and alert suppression automatically without any human intervention. So you might be thinking, well, DevOps is still quite common in terms of job postings, and that's true. And for now, that will remain a fact. But over time, demand for this role is going to diminish. And that's because more and more companies are going to realize they can use AI and automation to take some of those people out. So the role may still exist, but there won't be as many opportunities available. So is that really a space you want to go into? So AI here is going to replace DevOps engineers with AI augmented deployment platforms. You're going to need fewer DevOps engineers managing larger, smarter platforms with a lot more automation built in and a lot more intelligence built in as well. There's also a shift towards platform engineering where reusable self-service tools are built. Another role that's being replaced is entry-level software engineers. Tools like GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT can now write a lot of code so they can write an entire backend generate the CRUD APIs, build out the unit tests, and create entire code bases based on prompts in English. According to GitHub, 46% of all new code written to GitHub is now AI assisted. So if you can imagine a scenario, a startup might have hired three junior devs in the past, but now they can get away with one more senior developer and use AI tools like ChatGPT or Copilot. Now, of course, we still do need humans to oversee the whole process. AI is not advanced enough yet that we can trust it to just generate all our code and push it into production. It's just that we need more senior people who can check the code, iterate back and forth with the AI to improve it where it's needed, make it more secure, etc. We don't need as many developers. We don't need junior developers. Manual QA testers will also be replaced by automation. In the old way, we used to run manual regression tests and validate user flows and log bugs, etc. A lot of that can now be automated by AI. AI can auto-generate the test cases, simulate user behavior, and log bugs with context. For example, Accenture eliminated over 10,000 manual testing jobs over the last couple of years using AI-powered QA platforms. So what is going to replace these jobs? Well, software development test engineers writing automated tests will have QA architects managing AI pipelines and test ops roles integrated into development teams. So there are still roles that exist, but again, as with the software development roles, we can now take more experienced people, get rid of the junior people. We don't need to bring the, those people in because we can now use a lot more automation and AI assistance. Tier 1 and Tier 2 support roles could also be replaced. If you think about the last time you contacted IT support, now imagine that a chatbot is going to reset the password for you. It doesn't need to be a human. It's going to check your VPN configuration, or maybe a voice agent is going to reroute your printer job. No humans needed in the process. There's a lot of more routine support tasks 
for common issues that could be automated by AI. And then we only need to start forwarding the tickets through to more experienced people for the more complex problems that the AI just can't solve without human interaction. Companies using Microsoft Copilot and ServiceNow AI saw a 60% to 70% drop in level one ticket volume. So internal IT is going zero touch and LLM agents can now actually solve a lot of the common requests. The next role that's under threat is basic data analysts and report builders. So again, there are more senior positions here. Data ana analysis is definitely something which is a trending topic and a trending job role that is a good one to go into. But again, we're looking at the more junior roles here, people that might do simpler things like pulling data, creating dashboards and generating simple reports. That type of thing can be done by AI. So again, a lot more automation is gonna come in. The jobs will still exist for the more senior people or more advanced skill sets, but not necessarily for some of the more easy tasks. So fewer jobs. Gartner actually predicted that 75% of data stories will be generated by AI by 2026. So that's a lot of reporting and data analysis being done automatically using AI rather than having a human involved in the process. Now let's have a look at where the opportunities are. Which job roles are actually going to be enabled by AI or are just not threatened by AI because they require some additional skills like critical thinking and interpersonal communications and hands-on skills and complex problem solving that might be difficult for artificial intelligence. One example would be cloud engineers. They design and build the cloud infrastructure. They deploy VPCs and EC2 and IAM and Lambda. They might automate with Terraform and CICD tools and monitoring systems, scaling resources, building for high availability and redundancy. They're essentially building the platforms on which the applications run in the cloud, and that includes applications that are enabled by AI. So a lot of companies today are moving towards the cloud because they want to build AI applications. And where do they live? They live in the cloud. So this role is fairly safe because the infrastructure requirements are always very unique to each business, and therefore the AI wouldn't be able to do it on its own. So again, we could use automation tools, we can use AI for assistance, but there still needs to be communication amongst team members and uh, those who are actually directing the projects or providing the business requirements, and then the engineers actually building things out. Cloud architecture is another great example because this is another role that requires a lot more interpersonal communication, translating business requirements into technology solutions. Can architects use AI to assist them in the decision making? Absolutely. But there is always experience that has to come in here and that communication element. So here you're making trade-offs between cost, performance, resiliency and security. Um, and it usually does require somebody with some experience across the different technology stacks and being able to align specifically to that business's requirements. Now, the last one should be fairly obvious, cloud AI engineers. So of course, if you have AI skills, you're going to be in high demand today. Now, I would say all of the roles, so whether you're going for a cloud engineer role or a cloud architect role, you should know AI today because whatever role you're going into, you should make sure that you have some AI knowledge. So you don't have to be like a machine learning expert training models, but you do need to understand, for example, if you're working with AWS, the specific services that provide AI capabilities on AWS so that when customers ask you how they can provide some particular feature for their customers, you'll be able to work out which services are applicable. Of course, the AI engineers are much more involved with the actual models themselves, training models, deploying using MLOps pipelines, building agentic workflows, maybe with Langchain, for example, using services on AWS like SageMaker and Bedrock, and building those actual AI capabilities into applications for their customers. Indeed, the biggest job platform in the world shows a 76% increase in job advertisements that include both cloud and AI skills over the last 12 months. So these are jobs that are here today. It's not just future, but there will be more and more jobs opening up into the future as more and more companies need to build AI applications. So what can you do to start training and building the hands-on skills you'll need to be successful in one of these roles? Well, at Digital Cloud Training, we have the Cloud Mastery Bootcamp. It's a training program that includes live training, working with instructors such as myself, 
uh, working with other students in group collaboration workshops and really building a very strong hands-on skill. We really focus on hands-on. So whether you want to become a cloud engineer, an architect, an AI engineer, we have a program and a pathway specifically for you. On top of that, we have a program which is part of the bootcamp called the Tech Career Accelerator, in which we help you build a portfolio you can demonstrate to employers to show them that you have ability and you have experience. The tech job market is really changing very, very quickly at the moment. Some roles are disappearing, others are growing faster than ever. And really the people that win are gonna be the people that see that this is coming and then they actually take the action to upskill and make sure they have a skill set that's future proof. And make sure you train smart, getting real world experience, not just theory, so more than stifications, actually learning how to work and solve business problems with the technology. If you're interested in our bootcamp program, check the link in the description of this video. And that's it for this one. And if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell if you wanna see more videos that are coming soon on cloud careers.